the energy market is slowing down period there's still people up here just going wide open and I hope that you can find something somewhere that fits you I hope you can find something in this industry that is where you want to be at least for a period of time to allow you to gain to gain some experience allow you to be successful and allow you to become financially more independent than you were before. So I'm not a financial advisor, but I know my money situation before I came to North Dakota and I know my money situation now. And I'm up here for a reason, man. I'm not just making these videos because uh, no, nobody's making me make videos. Nobody's forcing me to do it. I want to be able to look back on my time in North Dakota and be able to see my history on what I experienced, the people that I met, the times that I've had, and the places that I've been. And I'm happy that I started doing this. Because every time I go look through all my videos, I'm like, man, forgot about that. Oh, yeah. What's that? What's their name? Such and such, blah, blah, blah. And this is the shop room, November the 7th. And Williston Williams County is hiring. So is Northern Energy Services. Miller Underground, GP Trucking, Pioneer, Noble Trucking is hiring. Talked to that, that guy yesterday. Now hiring company drivers and sign on bonuses. And y'all can pause this video whenever you want to. J Mac will be picking up in the spring. Braun on Tauga. Refined field transport driver. And of course you have your places for rent. And you can go back and check out some of my older videos and see what their rent was just two years ago. And that's pretty much it. Appreciate y'all joining me on this adventure into the oil field. I want to give a special shout out to Kenneth Lucas. He's got a YouTube channel. He's up here in Williston, North Dakota. I want to give a shout out to J Trades. He's up here, but I think J Trades is in like Dickinson or Wofford City. I'll catch up to to you, J Trades. It's been a minute, bro. If I if, if I see you, I see you. We collaborate, or whatever you want, or uh, whatever you want to do. Just catch me on my off days. Uh, met Kenneth Lucas, real cool dude. You know, I try and catch up with you on my off days. Uh, just stay positive, keep doing what you've been doing. And when it comes to what today's video is about, today's video is about uh, winter advice. My my personal winter advice, and I'm going to talk about clothing, boots. Ice and snow, depression and burnout. And my shout outs to J Trades and Kenneth Lucas and the conclusion of it all. To get it started, when it comes to winter advice, be prepared for everything. Some of you may be coming up here and you have no place to stay. Like how ask yourself how are you going to make it on your own with no help? 
and you need to fill in that blank with your ingenuity and your own engineering on how you're going to accomplish being successful up here. If you choose to come up here and you don't have a CDL, be prepared for everything. Because you can easily get into spending some money up here. I'm right here at HowardQuest right now. Uh, which is formerly known as Command Center. The place you'll see. You'll see I don't know how many other videos I got. With me either here. Or interviewing people here. Or something. Uh, keep this place in mind when you get here. I would say come here first. Get set up with them. Then go to the unemployment office. You know start looking for work. When it comes to clothing, dressing layers, Walmart makes it. Well, Walmart doesn't make, but Walmart sells this. This is like a like an undershirt, but it's it, it's pretty thick and it's pretty comfortable. And two of these right here will go a long way when it comes to getting from uh, 30 degrees. My bad. This right here, one. This right here by itself, one is good for when you're in 30 to 20. When you get below zero, if you're just wearing this, you're probably going to need two. Or when you get to negative 30, you may need two of these and a hoodie, and you're good. And it depends also when it comes to oil field clothing. You can always go to a home of economy. They have a great selection there. If your company provides you an oil field coat, you have different kinds, but you want either Carhartt, is it RPS or something like that? It has a, I don't have my coat in here with me. It has a really thick like outer layer to it. And it's uh, it's almost like canvas, you know, so it, it blocks the wind from coming in. And since it's a jacket, it's a zip up, you know, you can easily be able to, you know, zip it, uh, zip it up, zip it down, you know, kind of get some heat out, you know, fan, fan if you need to, to keep yourself from uh, sweating because if you sweat it's going to suck because you're going to sweat then after you you cool down it's going to freeze and I have experienced that when I was fracking we were taking hoses off rigging in rigging out or whatever and I started sweating and it was too late I tried getting my my bibs and, and uh, my bibs and my jacket off it was too late I'd already sweated to the point to where my clothes were damp, so I spent the rest of that day pretty much with like with frozen clothes on because they would warm up a little bit if I start moving, and then I could feel like the the clothing starting to freeze where it, it would get stiff. That sucks. You don't want to be involved with that. You don't want nothing to do with that. When it comes to boots, to each person is their own preference when it comes to the boots that you like to wear, but composite is what you want for that minus 30 but if you don't have composite still toe will work just fine your feet will get cold if you if you're in the derrick like Keontae said or if you know you're standing on ice steel toe is going to suck but i personally in the winter i keep two pairs of boots one pair of boots i keep in a tractor because once it gets so cold they just start leaving tractors running so that they're not so that they're not off because they're off, the batteries are die, and then you can't get it crunk again. You gotta try and jump it off. That's if the battery will hold a charge when it's at when it's at minus 30. So minus 30, all equipment is left on running. Do not turn no equipment off. Just make sure everything's fueled up. No semi tractors get turned off in minus 30 unless they're inside somewhere. Because minus minus 30 is killing that battery. Unless the, unless the company has spent more money for more expensive batteries. Anyway, uh, when it comes to boots, make sure you have your ice cleats. If your company does not provide them, get you a good pair of ice cleats. More than likely, they, they will last you through the winter. Maybe a couple of winters because you're only going to wear them only, only so many times unless you're on a customer site that requires you to wear them when you, when you go into location. In that case, just leave them on your boots. And they slip right on and off without any problem ice and snow there may be ice up underneath snow and you don't see it and you end up you know busting your behind so uh, keep that stuff in mind depression and burnout in the winter depression is real up here the lack of sunlight can can kind of get to you 
and I mean like raw sunlight, like like what we got right now. Uh, October third, October the seventh. My bad. November the seventh of twenty twenty nineteen. November the seventh, twenty nineteen. Um, burnout is real also you can be working up here so long and then after a while you know especially if you stay up here for long periods of time like i do you know when it gets winter I, i'm usually going to go home one time if not just stay up here through the entire winter and then once winter is about to break go home then that way when i come back i've avoided some of the cold and it's kind of starting to till we're getting into march and it's about to start thawing out so keep those two things in mind. Depression and burnout is real. Um, once again, shout out to J Trades, Kenneth Lucas. Great job, man. Keep doing what y'all been doing. Hope to collaborate with y'all on some stuff one day. Or just keep doing what you've been doing, man. Doing a great job. And I want to sum this up in conclusion. 